Hi, welcome to part three of the Energy Treasure Hunt training. In this session, we'll define data and tools you can use for your energy treasure hunt. This includes how to collect and analyze data, develop opportunity detail sheets, and how to select energy calculators. To prepare for the energy treasure hunt, you should ask yourself, what data do we need ahead of time? What will be the method to calculate the potential energy savings associated with the opportunities found during the energy treasure hunt? Determining upfront how you will track, analyze, and calculate opportunities is an important part of the preparation phase. Trying to figure this out during the on-site event may detract from the event itself. Two things you'll definitely need to decide on upfront are opportunity detail sheets and a tool for estimating savings and costs of your identified opportunities. And I'll talk about these more in just a little bit. The items on this slide are also good to gather up front before the on-site activity, so time can be spent in the facility identifying ideas, not on administration time and gathering background information. Basically, you're bringing together a plant profile of energy use and building characteristics similar to what you would do for an energy management systems approach or an ISO approach. Note that all of this information is from the Energy Treasure Hunt guide. You can refer to the guide for more details on the type of data typically collected, um, but let's go ahead and look at a few examples. So annual utility costs and consumption for the most recent 12 months for all utilities used by the facility is a good thing to have up front. Here's one way you may capture that information. Uh, broken out by utility, you would capture the annual consumption, the cost, and then the cost per unit. And it's good to include as detailed data as possible. However, it's fine if you can just get the basic utility data too. So if you have the metering systems in place, try to break down the energy use by major equipment category. If submeters are not available, then try to estimate the energy breakdown. And if you can, capture the facility's demand profile when it isn't operational on the weekend to see how energy is used between shifts. Is equipment left on that could be shut down? That's a question that you may answer with this weekend utility demand profile. If facilities are operational all week, a demand profile may also reveal opportunities to scale back or shut down equipment to shave load peaks a little bit. So site utility maps is uh, something also uh, good to gather. Uh, you want to gather the facility one-line diagrams for all of the utility systems, and this may include your electrical, natural gas, steam, compressed air, chilled water, water, and any other uh, utilities. Include a building outline map of the facility as well, which will provide the members a method to review the whole building as a system and not just um, pieces of equipment by piece of equipment. Energy project lists are also good to have on hand. You would want to compile a list of current or proposed energy projects for the facility, as well as those implemented during the past 12 months. So you don't want to spend time working on something that's going to be improved in the near future. And then knowing what projects have been implemented already or are being considered uh, provide some perspective for better decision making today and also serve as inspiration for the identification of similar or follow-on projects. So you may also want to create a list of facility operating parameters such as the operating hours, shifts, set points for major equipment, uh, lighting levels, etc. This data can be helpful when calculating potential savings during the treasure hunt and you might also find opportunities to adjust the parameters to save energy or even align them if during the treasure hunt you notice the building isn't operating uh, according to its design or the parameters set for the building. You can also capture the equipment assets in a list. Really just the larger pieces of equipment is okay and this data will aid the team members when they calculate energy savings. So as I mentioned a few slides back, it's important to have a tool to help organize information about identified opportunities when it comes time to start crunching numbers. So here's an example. It's a template um, that should be developed prior to the energy treasure hunt event. So this is an opportunity detail sheet. These detail sheets can be uh, documents that are printed and filled out by hand. They can be simple spreadsheets or more sophisticated spreadsheets like the one you see on the screen, which is from Toyota, which has embedded formulas to assist with calculations and which, just by changing the operating parameters on another tab, will update the potential savings on the tab that we're looking at here. You might also have a tab that calculates total energy savings across all projects, so you can see that in one place. 
These sheets are indispensable to the process because they keep data organized and consistent. They make the process easier for participants who may not be traditional energy managers. So things to capture in the detail sheet include background information like the type of energy saving opportunity, the type of utility consumed, and then a description that considers the pre and post opportunity conditions like equipment run times, for example. And in terms of big picture analysis, the detail sheet should house annual energy consumption and energy costs before and then an estimate of what these things will be after proposed changes and also things like annual greenhouse gas savings and overall installation costs. So the final step in the preparation phase is to select or develop energy calculators. You may have knowledgeable engineers who come equipped with their calculation methodologies or you may want to refer to the example calculators um, that are available on the Energy Star website. So calculators are important because they provide for consistent calculation of energy consumption and cost savings and these results can be plugged into the detail sheet we just discussed or in some cases the calculations may be embedded in the detail sheets. The example you see on the screen is also from Toyota and to develop this they followed the Association of Energy Engineers CEM or Certified Energy Manager Handbook. The point is that you have to calculate savings and you'll want to obtain a tool ahead of time uh, before the event. If you don't have existing tools uh, like the detail sheets or the calculators, there are many available online and through the Energy Star website. All right, so that's the prep phase, the preparation phase. As you're preparing, you may also consider these other tools from Energy Star, which can be used in conjunction with the treasure hunt. And they are the guidelines for energy management, which is a consolidated set of best practices from thousands of organizations into one step-by-step -step roadmap for continuous improvement. There's also the Energy Star Industrial Energy Guides, which give sector-specific guidance for energy efficiency opportunities and manufacturing plants. And then also the Energy Star Building Upgrade Manual, which is a practical guide that helps you plan and achieve profitable improvements for your building. Finally, it is a good idea for the Energy Treasure Hunt facilitator and host to work together to gather relevant data in this preparation phase and that will help reduce the administrative burden and also provide some consistency during the event. Also, developing detail sheets and calculators does require some upfront work by the facilitator or team leaders, but once that's created, once those sheets are created, they become important tools that can be used for the initial and then all subsequent energy treasure hunts. Okay, this concludes part three of four of the energy treasure hunt training. Please join us for part four to learn about the three-day on-site energy treasure hunt, pre-training, and follow-up.